The global business jet market is finally making a comeback. After a whopping 30% decline in sales volumes following the financial crisis, this year there are signs that a recovery is underway. Here at the Farnborough Air Show, business jet makers are showing off their wares and hoping for the best year in sales since the financial crisis, all stoked by a return in corporate profitability and the ever-growing number of the billionaire mega-rich. There's really kind of two parts to how the, the crisis impacted the, the business jet industry. Um, the most impacted were really the smaller jets, and the larger jets were not nearly as, uh, as impacted. So I felt very fortunate that we've sort of been at the high end of the market, and we really didn't experience nearly the amount of retrenchment that the, the smaller guys, the Cessnas and Beechcraft, would have experienced. I do think we're starting to see some improvement in the market. You know, if you start tracking uh, flight hours and utilization of jets, it is continually sort of eking up a little bit. It's been a slow recovery, and uh, I think it's come a little slower and maybe a little more drawn out than most of, it has, most of us anticipated. But it is, in fact, getting a little bit better with each year. But the market is split. With the smaller end of the corporate jet market still weak, it is the larger jets, such as the popular Gulfstream G650, which have seen an increase in orders. I would say that in the past 18 to 24 months, we've seen a good general pickup in activity, especially with the larger corporations in the U.S., the Fortune 500 type companies. Following the downturn that we experienced in late 2008, we did see a bifurcation of the market during the recovery. So the large cabin, long range aircraft like the Gulfstream fleet has recovered uh, much more quickly than the midsize or the light jet market. I think we've seen continued success of the long-range aircraft because of the explosion of international business. Companies need to fly between continents around the world. They want to be able to fly non-stop and be able to work and sleep and have productive time while on the aircraft. So we really think that has driven the demand for the large cabin airplanes. Some of the largest and most expensive private jets are made by Airbus and Boeing, both of which say they're seeing a trend of improving orders. There is even an outstanding order for an Airbus A380, the biggest passenger jet in the world. At Airbus we can offer corporate jet versions of all of our modern aircraft family, including the double-deck A380, which is the ultimate business jet with 551 square meters of floor space. And we have sold one initially to a, a prince in Saudi Arabia. That customer has since sold the aircraft on to another customer and the aircraft has yet to be delivered. Airbus is in the top end of the market and the top end of the market has been less affected than the smaller business jets and that's probably because our customers tend to be billionaires rather than millionaires. Asia Pacific is the biggest market when we look forward for the next 20 years. That's true on the airline side and indications are that it will be also something similar on the business jet side. The private jet market is still a long way from the giddy height of 2006, but with 3% rise in delivery predicted this year and a 10% rise next year, industrial experts here at Farnborough are expecting this to be a crucial turnaround year. Michael Stothard, Financial Times, Farnborough.